Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and in this mini Unity tutorial I'm going to show you how you can pick up and place objects using C Sharp in your Unity game. Don't forget, click the subscribe button, click the bell icon as well, stay up to date with every tutorial that I have on this channel because there's loads for you guys to learn. With that in mind, let's get to work. So the idea of being able to pick up, let's say, these boxes right here applies to pretty much any single object in the game. Obviously you wouldn't want to pick up a castle unless that was what your game was, but for now I'm going to go with these boxes. There's two things you need to make sure you have on your objects before you can actually perform this action. The first is a collider, in this case a box collider because it's a box, duh, and the second is a rigid body. So the rigid body would basically be used for any gravity that we use when we drop the object. Uh, next what we need to do is create a C-sharp script. So let's right click, create, C-sharp script, <clears throat> let's call this pick up. And then let's open that up in Visual Studio. So the simplicity of this is exactly that, simple. There's not a lot that we have to actually create in this. All we really need to do is just create the way of picking up an item and then obviously do the inverse of it when we want to drop it. So what we'll do is we will have our mouse click and we'll pick up that object. Uh, there is something that I'm not going to fully do in this tutorial because there is plenty of tutorials I have on it. It's just raycast and distance, but I'm going to show you the main mechanics of actually picking up and dropping those objects. So when this is loaded up, uh, we only really need to have one single variable. And let's go to our pickup script right there. And all we'll do, that single variable is going to be an object that we can use as a transform. And that transform will be where our object appears. So before we write the script, let's go to our FPS controller, as I'm doing this in FPS. If you're doing it in third person, then by all means, yep, that's completely fine. And what we need to do is on our first person character, we need to right click, create empty. And then this empty object, you'll just need to pull in front of your character, probably to about there. The reason is because we're going to make this transform to here. The reason why we pull it out in front is so we can see it in front of us. So let's rename this object to destination. Uh, let's go back to our C sharp script and let's get rid of the void start and void update because we don't need them. And let's create our variable, which is going to be public. Uh, transform and we'll call it the dest. Obviously dest is short for destination. And now what we need to do is void on mouse down. Doesn't need to be private so we can get rid of that. And in here we need to do just a couple of things. The first thing we need to do is actually turn off the gravity that is within our rigid body. The reason we do that is because if we bring this box to here it will still have gravity applied and it will just fall again. That doesn't happen if we have hold of things, so we need to turn off the gravity. So get component, if I can type it, and in brackets it is rigid body, and close spiky bracket, open close bracket, dot use gravity equals false. So you can see we're just turning off the gravity, we're not turning off the rigid body, we're not getting rid of the rigid body, we're just turning off that gravity. Next thing we need to do is change the transform position, so move the position of whatever object we're picking up. So it'll be this dot transform dot position equals, and it'll be this little variable here we have, so the Dest dot uh, position and semicolon. So all we're doing is moving that transform or moving the transform the position of it to this one right here, which is in front of us. Next thing we need to do is actually parent that object with the object itself. So we need to bring it to be underneath here. And we can do that real easily by going this dot transform dot parent equals game object dot find and in brackets and quotes the name of that object that we just have in this case it's destination and then dot transform semicolon and that is the end of the void on mouse down 
Obviously, we then have to do the inverse of it. So when the mouse comes back up, it will be void on mouse up. Doesn't need to be private once again, so we can get rid of that. And we need to do the pretty much the inverse of what we've just done. So we need to make the parent null, so it goes back to its own independent object. So this dot transform dot parent equals null. Null is a way of obviously saying nothing, empty, void, gone. That's all that means. And then we need to turn the gravity back on. So we can copy this line of code here, paste it below. So rigid body, use gravity, true. So when we drop our object, it will go back down to the ground. So save that script, head back into Unity, and you then need to attach this script to every object that would actually require it. So if we go to these objects all here, so all these boxes, and go to Add Component, and let's type in the name of that script we've just written, in this case, Pickup. So we've just attached that to all of our objects, and we still have all of our objects selected, and we just need to drag and drop that destination over here. So that becomes the variable for all of those objects. So now, if we press play and head over and try and pick up a box, oh, it's floating, but there we go. So all you would need to do is freeze how that looks. So let's try this again. Pick up a box and drop. And one more and drop. So ultimately what's happening here is it's just picking up an object, if I can just get at the center, and drop. There we go. And once again, drop. There we go. And again, drop. And once again, let's walk over here and drop. So you could also theoretically throw things this way. That's why that's being used with the rigid body. So there is many more mechanics that you can use to actually make this a little bit more independent and a little bit more stable. These are just the simple basic mechanics that you would need to pick things up and move things around. Obviously you can add a uh, raycast in here to help that a little bit. You can change different settings within a rigid body. You can change different settings uh, within pretty much anything. Um, you could also set it as a trigger just to kind of um, stop it going a little bit crazy or turn off the box collider. Uh, let's give that a quick go actually, see if that makes any difference for us. So if we go uh, just before a rigid body, we can have get component and in spiky brackets, box collider, open close bracket, dot um, enabled equals false, semicolon. And then obviously the inverse of that, once again, at the end, that will be true. So save, head back to Unity. We don't need to really declare anything else with our variables, but now this should act a little bit more stable. I think it just depends what you want to do with the object. So let's take this object. There we go. So you can see it's much more stable now. And there we go, we can throw it. Once again, we could take this. There we go throw it. So these are, like I can say, pretty much the basic mechanics. It's worth playing around with them just a little bit to see what kind of effects you can come up with. But you just have to be careful sometimes that, as you can see there, that it kind of glitches just a little bit. But we throw it. All you need to do there, if that occurs, is move your destination forward just a little bit. Maybe bring it down just a little bit. So it kind of brings it in front of you. So let's see if we get that glitch again where we can see through the box. There we go. Perfect. So yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. That's how you can pick up and place objects in your Unity game using C Sharp. Guys, I hope that's helped you and thank you very much for watching.